Hey guys, uh, for today's video, I am going to be using the Natasha Denona Lila palette. Um, I just feel like I want to create something like Valentine's Zany. So I have this system where I have to use a palette, one palette for the whole month. I kind of cheated last month, but uh, this month is going to be Natasha Denona. Just because I feel like they're perfect Valentine's Day colors. And then, what's next month? January, February, March. I think for March, I'm going to use the Alien palette. Just because St. Patty's Day is in there and I can rock some greens, you know? Um, and other than that, for January, February, March, April. April, I want to use the Jawbreaker just because it's good. it has like all those like pastel and book colors and stuff like that. So, I'm going to be doing that. Uh, but for this one, let's just do a, I think I'm going to do like two different looks. I'm going to do one very soft look for Valentine's Day and then one pretty intense look. So, for the soft one, let's go in, I'm going to use, I feel like the soft one has to be like flirty, you know? I mean, before we even go in with any shadow we're gonna go in with my mac paint pot this thing and then i just like to grab it with my finger and kind of like put it in my eye because eyelids tend to get usually greasy so when you add this kind of waxy substance it stops the oils from kind of coming through so it kind of like makes sure your eyeshadow doesn't crease I don't like to add too much like some people do. Some people add a ridiculous amount. But for me, like, that's fine. Just lightens them up a little bit, creates that tacky base. And then I'm gonna go in with this Morphe 441. It's like their fluffy blending brush. And I'm gonna go in with this shade. Uh, I think ooh, that light is. Very bright. Hold on. Oh, there they go. So I think I'm gonna go in with probably like. Ooh, I feel like something like this would be good. Probably this. No. Uh, I think because it is softer, I'm gonna go with this one and create a halo eye. So this is kind of like a light brownish red um so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna uh, i wanted to just cover the whole lid i think i still will so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna kind of like wiggle my brush so all sides are coated and then i'm gonna just uh kind of blend that everywhere i want to say i was gonna do a halo eye but i I don't know. We'll see. So I'll do that. Just kind of stamp that color everywhere. And then what you want to do so your eyes don't look droopy, if you prefer that. I like my eyes to look a little bit droopy. Um, it gives me more of that like manly feel. But you don't want your eyeshadow to go past your lower lash line. You want it to stretch out across like this. So what I'm going to do is kind of just go like that. And then let's go back and forth. I take my eyeshadow pretty high, but you don't have to do this. Um, then I will do I know I said I wanted something soft and flirty, but I want to go pretty intense. So, let's see. I'll probably do something with that pink. Because what if I put that pink on the center? I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to throw the pink in the center. So probably like... Yeah, I feel like that'd be good. So let's just pop that on the center.
Well, that looks kind of weird. Okay, then I will go in with. I'm gonna go in with this one. This is like a deeper pink, the one right above it. I'm gonna put that. Oh shit. Like on the sides of that because I feel like it's like throwing the shadow off a little bit. So if I like, I'm gonna put it like right next to it. So this metallic shade is gonna be a transition from the hot pink to the matte. So I'll do that. And I'll do that again over here. And then pull it out with a clean finger. So I'm, I just decided to put it away for you guys. So I just kind of decided, hold on. I decided to just put it all over my lid. And what I'm gonna do is reinforce the hot pink so I'm gonna get that hot pink again. And then kind of just like put it on the center of the lid. Cause I feel like I kind of lost it. So let's do like that. And then I'm gonna get my fluffy crease thing again. And then I'm just gonna blend the edges of the metallic. The cool thing about this brand is that the metallics usually blend out pretty nice into the mats. They kind of like turn into a mat themselves, not fully, but they let you blend themselves as if they were a mat. Some brands you cannot do that. So I'll do that. And then just to be like extra cute and flirty, I'm gonna do probably that shade. Okay, I'll do this white actually no that white is too intense so i'm gonna go in with this this is like a it looks like a champagne kind of color so like a skin look and then i'm gonna go in with this this is a morphe e30 e36 it's a super small it looks like a little small blending brush but i'm gonna i like to use this for my inner corner because it's so precise so i'm just gonna kind of grab it and then put it right here. Oh, I really like that actually. That's such a pretty color. I'm kind of mad. I think, I feel like I should have put that on the lid, but I feel like this is keeping it soft and flirty because it's not too shiny. But it's kind of there. So I I actually do like how I like how this look turned out. And what I really like to do is I like to get the metallic that I put on my inner corner and then ever so slightly take it up. Kind of like you're putting it like on the lid, but you're kind of not. And then I'm gonna go in with my original blending brush and then kind of just zhuzh that and go back and forth just to blend it okay okay that's looking real cute i love it i love it a lot now i'm gonna do the lower lash line um the way i do lower lash lines is pretty intense so i'm not gonna go as intense right now uh, i'm gonna go in with a super duper small it's cool, I put all my brushes that I carry with me like on a rubber band, so I kind of just like spin it around, you know? Um, I think I'm gonna go... Oh, ugh, this is such a struggle. Okay, I'm probably gonna use this one. Now, I'm going to use the the brush that we use for the inner corner. So I'm, oh, whoops. That's the only issue with this thing is that they like pop out. So I'm going to use the little one that I use for my inner corner and kind of just like 
rub off all that shimmer that's on it. And then I'm going to go back into that original matte shade that we used. What is that? that one. I want to start showing you guys more of like the colors that I use because I feel like I'm always like, they're always like down here. So I'm going to get that. And then I'm just going to like do the lower part. And I barely want to do any just because it's going to be like cute and flirty, you know. Uh, but I just always like the top and the bottom to connect. <gasps> you know what I could have done? No, that would have looked kind of weird. So I'm going to try something right now, but... I feel like adding like darkness to your lower lash line brings out like your lashes, but because I don't apply fake lashes. So I will wiggle that over here to connect them. And then go back and forth. Okay. So the last step for this side is I'm gonna grab, I wanna do something cute. So I got this little glitter applicator from Sephora. It's on clearance for like four bucks I think still. So I'm gonna grab this. And then it's like a really flat rubber, rubber thing, as you can see. But I am going to grab probably the shade that we use for our inner corner. Where is it? That one. And then I'm just gonna put it on like right under my. What's that black bar called? Your pupil. So I'm gonna grab a little bit on the side of that brush. Okay, let's see if it works. And then I want to put it like right here. So it did kind of work. I do want to add a little bit more though, just a tad. Because I like how this is coming along. Okay, I really like that. It's like very soft, but let's see. Do you see that like, okay, yeah, you can see it right there. Oh, yeah. So it gives you like a little nice like glow under the eye without being too extra. And then I'm just gonna get my brush and then kind of buff out the edges. And then the other side too. So it's kind of like creating like a mini halo under your eye. Oh yeah, you can see it now. Yeah, I think it looks really cool. And it's not like too bam in your face. So, yeah. That shade was actually really good. Uh, I don't like this blend over here. Hmm. Let me get a clean brush and then kind of just blend my mistakes away. <gasps> oh shoot. I gotta make sure there's nothing on here. Okay, so I'm going to... Buff it. Okay. What is that weird mark? Is that eyeshadow? Oh my god, now it's like everywhere on my face. Okay. Okay, cool. So that you guys get the gist of this side. I kind of like messed it up with my spit and everything, but that's kind of like the gist. And then for the other side, it's gonna be like more glam, more like va va boom. So for that side, we have our base set. I'm gonna go in with this deeper. It looks kind of brown on camera, but it's like kind of red. It's like a deep. It's like a very, what is it? It's like terracotta. It's like that red brick that you like see at like, I don't know, old time New York City kind of thing. So I will use 
this little blendy brush. This is a Morphe E17. It's kind of smaller than the one we originally used. Let me show you a comparison. So it's like that, kind of like half the size. I'm going to go in with that deeper red and I'm going to just kind of blow that through my crease. Actually, let me stamp it here on the outer part just to have the darkness there and then I will pull it towards the center. Okay, so we have that, and I'll just blend the edges barely, because these shapes kind of blend by themselves. So do that. Okay, and then are you guys there? Okay, so now I like how it like creates darkness here. And then we're going to transition to light, but we're going to make that more intense by adding metallic, kind of like on the lid. So, I feel like I actually want to make it a little bit more deep. Let's do, I'm going to go back into that. Oh shoot, this isn't the brush I use. Zoinks. So I'm going to go on with the brush I used, and then kind of just stamp it there again. And then bring it over. Oh, so I have stamp, 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 and then bring it over. I like to bring it a little bit higher than my crease because I want it, the color to show even if my like my lid is like down like that. Like I still want the color to peep through. So I usually take it pretty up there. Hold on, I'm gonna open the door for my dog. It's okay. Alright. So now we have this eye. So now we're gonna add some darkness. I'm gonna go in with I love this shade. Well actually no, because this is supposed to be more glammy. So I'm gonna go in with this shade. This shade's a dual chrome, it goes from like where does it go? From like a pink to a gold, which is like perfect right now. So I'm gonna grab it with my middle finger. And this shit is so intense. Look at that, just imagine that on the lid. So I'm just gonna kinda put it there and then pull with my finger. Oof, look at that. Look at that va va boom. Dude, that shade is insane. So, let's pull it. You kind of just want to put it all over your lid like a cut crease kind of. Honestly, I probably should should have used the glitter applicators. Okay, so there's that. Oh my god, that looks crazy. I like it. I like it. It's pretty cool. Pretty snazzy. Okay, so there's that. And I am going to want to deepen it a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is actually grab this. Actually. Oh, mm, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So I'm going to grab that little glitter applicator again. And then I'm going to go in with the same shade. That like golden one I'll put under there. Because I really want to like put it like. Like. Kind of like a cut crease. But like. Not so clean. Okay, cool. So that looks insane. I love it so much. 
And look, I still have some on my finger. Is that beauty right there? Okay, so we got that. And I do want to deepen this up a little, little bit more. Um, so I'm going to grab the same little, no, actually, I'm going to grab this super small one that we use for the inner corner on this side. And what we will do is actually, we're going to get the deep, damn, I haven't been showing you guys the shades. I'm going to go in with this black metallic. Um, like I said, her metallics do usually blend out pretty nice. So I'm going to go in with that and I want to put it over here because I really want to deepen it. So I'm just going to put it right here. And then it just creates like the perfect amount of depth. The reason I'm using a small brush too though is because like I want to be able to blend this shade out. And if I use like a really big brush and I start blending, it's just going to like pull even bigger than what I want it. So like probably the amount I've just put on is probably too much too. But... I'll try not to blend it that much. So I do want to add a little bit more. This is right here. Okay. So now that we got that, I'm going to blend it out with this one. This is a Morphe E18. It, I don't even know what kind of brush this is. This is like a little stubby brush. Looks like a blending brush, but it's kind of thick for that. So now I'm going to just pull back and forth on that black. And I think I'm going to pull it out like a wing. Back and forth. Cool, so I do really like that. That looks sick. Look at that. That is a very cool look. I'm very proud of myself. Um, so, my brightness up. Okay, so now what we will do is connect that transition red that we originally used with the, with the lower lash line. Uh, we're not going to put black there because it's going to be like real intense, you know. So, I'm just going to take that really small inner corner brush that we used and just kind of zhuzh off any of the black that we got on there and it looks pretty clean to me now so now i'm gonna take that original brown brick red and then kind of hit up the lower lash line over here and then connect it up here I like to make the outer third really intense. And then soften it the closer you get to the inner corner. I just feel like that's like, that's like a really nice compliment. Bro, that look is sick. Pretty snazzy. Alright. Then we will do an inner corner over here. I'm gonna use this shade. It Apparently it's supposed to be like a topper, but I really like it on its own. It's like that golden one. I'm actually gonna put that golden one just a little bit on my lid because I need a little pizzazz, just a little bit more. So, let's get that little brush again. Rub off any extra color that we got. And then dip into the shade. Okay. Then I will just pop that in the inner corner. Yeah, let's be on gorgeous. And I really want to connect that up with this, with the lid shade. And then I'm going to try to add a little bit down here.
cool. That's super cool. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that same shape we used for the inner corner, but like on um, my middle finger and tap into it just to get a little bit of product on there. And I really want to tap just on the lid a little. Okay, cool. I like that. So it's like a very, 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 very soft, um, like golden glow on the eyelid, and I think that's just what it needed. So, oh, I'm gonna actually do a wing on this one. Let's do. Oh, should we do a red wing? That'd be pretty cool. Let's keep it black. So I'm gonna go in with um, the Jeffree Star liquid shade in Weirdo. I'm gonna get that on the back of my hand. Or you can use any liquid liner you have, but I don't have any. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with this liner brush from Morphe. It is an M217. The reason I use Morphe brushes is because they're like so darn cheap, you know? Okay, so I kind of like to let this dry a little bit because it becomes from like a liquid to like a gel kind of and then you can use it as like a gel liner okay so I have the brush coated and then kind of just I like to start out here Like that, and then I'm gonna pull it in. I don't usually do wing liner like this, so this is kind of new to me, but I feel like wing liner always makes like it like accentuates women's features so good like it just elongates your eye like so amazingly but I don't like that effect on me I kind of like the droopy eye Oh, it's like drying up on me. So, ooh, that's a little extreme. Oh, I don't like that liner, actually. Let's make it a little bit more chunky. So I want to, like, pull it more... Uh, I like it when it, like... Okay, I think that I like better. That actually looks super cool. I think I want to create like the little lines that people do where it's like a true cat eye. Hold on. It's like when you add the little flick in the center because it makes your eyes super duper sharp.
Oh yeah, I love that a lot. That is very, very, very cool. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit more because I wanna, I'm not gonna add it directly, but I really wanna like make right here thicker a little bit. So I'm gonna go back in. Yeah, I like that way more. I mean, you guys can probably do a better liner than I can, but bitch, that's fucking good. Okay, enough gym and jammer. Honestly, with this out like this, this looks like shit. But it's like a soft. This is like a dramatic, you'll get, you'll get it. And then of course you got a highlight. I want to show you guys this new highlighter that I've been working on. Um, I feel like it'll fit the theme for this because it's like pink and gold and stuff like that. So, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I like to keep the little plastic thing on this, that's why. Okay, so we got that. I'm not gonna show you guys the highlighter, but let me show you what it looks like. Um, oh, I did that thing for like my big brushes too, except I used my skincare headband for that. So I'm gonna use this Morphe 501 brush. It's like a little tapered brush. It, I feel like it applies highlighter amazingly. Okay, so... Okay, ready? I need a mirror! I feel like I want to add a, just a touch more down here because I like to glow like when I like turn like that I like that glow and then I like to bring it down just a little bit just to give that like cheek glow here let me turn it down a little bit oh yeah you see that I like that like cheek glow right here oh, hold on I gotta taste again oh Dude, this is like insane. Oh my god, look at that. Be like, ah. <laughs> that's kind of ugly. It's like doy. And then. Oh wait. That looks pretty cool. I mean, it looks like I look cockeyed, but. Okay, what am I doing? My highlighter. Like that. Let me switch. Okay. Okay, so that's what the highlighter looks like. It looks more golden when you like when it, the light hits it, and then it like shifts into a pink when you're like looking away. This kind of reminds me of like the trophy wife from Rihanna like the goldenness but like a valentine's day version you know so hit this cheek too
I like my highlighter pretty intense and I like to cover everything. It's funny, I feel like I'm one of the few people that like loves wearing highlighter on their own. Because I feel like a lot of people are like, they don't like how it looks. I don't know. Let's see. So I got it here. I got that glow there. And I don't have it there yet. So let's hit it with a little bit more. Right there. Uh, boom. Let's see. Let me move the light. Yeah, so you can see how it even looks golden over here. Oh my god, what the heck? Do you see that in my eye? <gasps> how did that happen? <sighs> I'm pissed. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm actually gonna add more highlighter on this side because it is the more a glam side. So I'm gonna hit it with a what? Like I need to look drenched. Like that. Like I need to look face tuned. And then let's hit the nose a little bit. Beautiful, a little bit on Cupid's ball. Oh. And then let's hit the forehead. I don't know why people do this. It looks so weird on me, but you gotta do what the people do, you know? I feel like putting highlighter on your forehead here looks good in pictures, but not in public. They're like, well, why do you... See, yeah, I don't like that. Oh, raise. It looks like I just turned butter on my forehead. Not a fan. Not a fan, sis. Okay. So we get that. Let's highlight the brow bone a little bit. Right there. Okay, right here. Cool guys, uh, this video is not long enough. Uh, so yeah, that was my version of doing a soft glam for Valentine's Day on this side, and then a hardcore Valentine's Day glam on this side. I hope you guys got some inspiration from behind it. Uh, I love doing these makeup videos, they're so much fun. Uh, I, but I will talk to you guys in the next one.